Hey, funny fact that I learned today. Do you know what's interesting about the Grinch? Please tell me. He actually loves Christmas. He just hates people. Is that so? Yeah. Anything else? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, I love you, baby. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye-bye. I just got so compliment bombed by my husband. He said my hair looks like glass. I literally just straightened it to the point of like smoke coming out of it. So it was, <laughs> it was worth the effort. Cheers, you guys. Welcome to today's video. We're gonna be playing with the most incredible underrated products, things that will just make your makeup game so much stronger, so much better, all the things you didn't know you needed because no one is talking about this stuff. But I am here for you, I am here for me, um, cause guilty pleasure. I love finding things that no one else is talking about. Hidden gems, I'm all about it. I'm all about the indie brand. I am all about supporting the indie brand. So without further ado, I'm gonna take a sip of coconut water. Uh, I'm on a kick right now with this stuff, Taste Nirvana. You guys, I try to limit how much I drink of this, but it is so freaking phenomenally good. If you like coconut water, my sisters are like, it tastes like a dirty sock. And I'm like, what? Um, it's so good. I just, I, I need the electrolytes in my life. We're gonna be diving on in to this palette right here, you guys. If you guys saw this in the most recent peer unboxing that I did with James, if you have not, go and watch that video. I feel like it did not get served up in the algorithm. And honestly, out of all of the PR unboxings that we have ever done together, that was my favorite. I just love how it turned out and all the storytelling and all the good new makeup, which this was one of the items that literally I was like, oh, cute. Oh, it's a nice eyeshadow palette. And I literally just went like this in the pan and I'm like, whoa, like I am transported somewhere else entirely. I cannot wait to play with this. So I thought we would play with it together on camera. There's a lot of duochrome and matte and metallic in here. It is such an interesting textured palette. So this again is the Enchanted Forest palette. It's a multi-dimensional eyeshadow palette. And this is from Queen Cosmetics. Um, so we're gonna, as you can see, I'm not wearing a stitch of makeup. So let's prime the face. Um, JK. But I will share with you while we're here, while we're chatting, something that is not an indie brand, but is so underrated that I don't hear people talking about online enough. This is the Blur Jam Silicone Free Smoothing Primer from Huda Beauty. It's Glowish by Huda Beauty. Now you gotta make sure you keep this lid right here on, but you guys, this stuff a little goes a long way. Come on, do it up, do it up. It's like velvet. Oh my gosh. I'm just, I'm gonna put a little on the back of my hands right now. You know that I have been complaining about, not that I'm done with my Tarte primer. I don't think we will ever break up, but I'm like, I know I use the same primer all the time to blur my skin. What do you guys wanna see in action? I had already bought this, but a lot of you guys were like, use the, the new one from Huda. And it really does like, oof. It just silkifies the skin and it does not have silicone in it. So that would be the difference for me from the Tarte Smoothing Primer to this one. If you were curious about it, it is really good. Wearing it today, let's hop on over to the drugstore for 2.2. I'm also wearing the Revlon 24 Hour Long Wear Makeup for Combo Oily Skin. You guys, this stuff is so good. They reformulated, they have a Color Stay from Revlon, which is an iconic foundation, very full coverage, very long wearing. It is very much like Estee Lauder's Double Wear, but available at the drugstore. And I just am shocked at how much I love this. You guys, it wears really well. It does crease a teeny tiny bit. It doesn't look crinkly or cakey. It covers, it doesn't break apart. I think this is such a great foundation. So the reformulation where they have for each skin type from Color Stay is so, so good. Little goes a long way. What did I use to put it on? Oh yes, I used the Stands Out Sponge Bump bump, 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 we're out of here. I did also use the Lawless Crease Proof Concealer. If you were curious, let's just keep going. I broke my No Fragrance Fast and put on some Huda Beauty Powder, some Sage, Sai, 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 Sai. Say, say it ain't so. 
Uh, this one is medium bronze, the sun melt. And I love this. This goes on top of everything. It is not overdone. Like I don't think I'm too bronzy contoured. Anyway, that's kind of what I have on the face so far. I did put on some, I feel like the person pointing at the menu. I can't say the name of this. Ka Kair. Ooh, it says on the website how to pronounce it. Let's just figure it out together because this is honestly the best blush that I've recently tried. Like it out honests, honest beauty. Literally you can put on your lips, you can blend this in on the crappiest makeup day and all of a sudden your skin looks bananas good. It is so, so good. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. If you go to their website, there's like something that says, this is how you say it. Cure Weiss. Cure Weiss. Cure Weiss. Cure Weiss. Cure Weiss. Cure Weiss. This is a refillable compact. This thing's like a hockey puck. Like this is heavy. I'm really loving their mascara. I am super loving their liner. And then this, this is the best cream blush I've ever used, period. The gloss I didn't love as much that came in that gift set that I ended up keeping for myself. Um, but the blush, whoo, so, so good. Okay, so let's like get on with it and get away from my yammering about what's already on my face. I'm wearing this on my from Sigma, these two shades right here. Marvelous duo for brows. Um, but let's get to the meat of this video, the Enchanted Forest. Let's first take a wander through the swatches and then we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do. Okay, so the top row, the pans are a little bit larger and I like that. I like that the mattes have a little more. You have like this smaller duo chromatic shades on the bottom that do have a different touch texture. Like they actually feel almost like a cream shadow. They have a plushy velvety borderline wet feeling to the touch. Let's start off with the matte over to the left on the top row. It is called the Forbidden. It is a beautiful rust shade, like, whoa. Oh my gosh, that would be really flattering for green eyes or blue. We have the shade Firefly, which is just a gorgeous metallic. Now this is not duochromatic at all. It actually kind of matches my nail polish, right? Like a little bit, yes, a little bit. I'm wearing Pacifica. I will list below what I'm wearing. I can't tell if I love it or hate it. My first reaction was, I like it, but this looks like glittery poop. How are we feeling about brown nails? I don't know. I just kind of went there because they had sent me some new colors and I just felt like trying it, so I did. Um, moving on back to the palette. Gemstone in the center is a beautiful kind of forest green. Makes sense with the theme of this palette. Then we have Ethereal, which is a nice kind of coppery, copper bronze situation. And then we have Full Moon, which is a gorgeous brown but it has a little bit of those red undertones in here, red purpley undertones. It kind of is, dare I say, maroon. How are we feeling about that word lately? I I literally, I have Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift stuck in my head. I love it and I also am like, enough, you know? Like when your husband starts singing it, you're like, we have a problem. Like there's a, there, this is a problem. Draw a cat eye sharp enough to kill a man. Then we have Mystical Forest. You guys, I don't think that this is gonna show up in the camera the way it is in real life. Hello. Oh my gosh. Right? Stop. Right. Now that is so freaking gorgeous. Oh my gosh. And then we have Pixie Dust. Oh my gosh. What is this? Is this legal? What did they put in this shadow? Like I tried to formulate and make things this smooth. This is not right. Is this a cream? I'm so confused. Magical portal. Oh my gosh. Then we have luminous meadow, which I have worn. Oh my gosh. And then we have fairy godmother, which is the most duochromatic. Like I'm looking at my thumb and it looks green but in camera it is looking, do you see that? Look at that, stop it. This is the weirdest like hand swatch moment ever. I'm just like, hey, hey shiny, shiny. Um, so we're gonna get to putting this on. I like all the colors, but if I put all the colors on my eye, we're gonna have a problem. I really kind of want to do Fairy Godmother because it's just so duochromed, you know? But what I want to do first is of course frame the eye. 
I'm gonna put on a little bit of MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, I'm gonna go in Sigma in the shade Flannel, which again, I also did use in my brows mixed with Chestnut. And I'm just going to be, you guessed it, putting this in the crease and I'm not even like, wow, what a stellar job did she do, right? No, I'm just like, whatever, we're just gonna blend that color out. Painterly Paint Pot and this shade are the backup dancers to the star of the show. This brush from Letitia Lamac, the FF6, also so nice. These brushes are great. I put this one in my favorites of the year. I will link that below. This one for under eye powder. There's not a brush that's better. It's the shape of it is so unique and so good. And even this has such a unique shape as well. What I found is that I can literally blend my crease with my eyes closed, not even give a crap about whatever I'm doing. Like it's just so, so, so easy with this brush because it's fluffy. There's a point, but you go in and then the fluff that's around that point kind of helps to disperse the color really nicely. And Sigma, you are working overtime and I like it. I like whatever you are doing. Round of applause for their formulation right now. Okay, so we're just gonna go in with fingers. We're gonna go into Fairy Godmother. Kinda just got butterflies in my stomach. No joke, let's do it. Oh, it's literally so pretty. Oh my gosh. This is probably the weirdest thing to say about this palette, but if you have a small child that loves makeup, like this is the coolest thing ever. It is shifting colors dramatically before my eyes. I can't. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. My eye has still been a little bit of an issue. It eventually will go away according to eye doctors or according to my eye doctor, but I've been trying to not overdo the makeup unless I am filming. So this is like an ultra extra satisfying moment because I've kind of been like, no, no, like, like let's, let's not, let's like give it a rest. This makes me want to grab the keys and go out on the town wear a cute pair of heels, feeling feminine and beautiful and done up and glamorous. This is just so beyond gorgeous. I've tried so many duochromatic shadows and this is just next level. Whoever formulated this, amazing, amazing job. So that would be enough for me, like wing it, put on some lashes and you're done. But because I think I wanna try a little bit more, cause more is more and we wanted to try this palette, we're gonna go into Magical Portal and I'm just gonna stick that on the inner just to brighten up. Wow, okay, yeah, that's very beautiful. Wow, oh my gosh. If you are into, I'm like, honestly, we're done. This is like, this is an A plus palette. Total indie brand. Yes, this was sent to me, but I have no affiliation with the company. I just think this is amazing. I'm gonna go into full moon, make sure to tap off some of that excess and I'm gonna line the eye. Not even getting it wet. Just kind of want to see what it can do. Something I'm super into right now, you guys, is the shadow wing, the shadow wing. It is literally just the littlest whisper of whatever you are using and you just go up, just like that. Once you put on your lashes, put on some mascara, whatever you're doing to finish up the look, it's not gonna look full potential best until you have everything on, but it just does a little bit of elongating without you needing to be nervous about ruining the whole look with a black, bold liquid liner. You know what I'm saying? And you would think that it wouldn't do much, but let me tell you, just that little teeny tiny whisper. It's there, it's kind of there, it's kind of not. And it doesn't even have to be like super perfect. I don't know if I even got that super straight or not, but the great thing with the shadow lining it's like not so bold. Like when you do a black gel liner, you better take a deep breath and do some stretching beforehand. 
like you got to get them to match. You have to, you got to focus. And sometimes I just don't have the patience for that. You know, now what I want to do just to like further see capabilities, I guess, I kind of want to see what gemstone is all about. So I'm going to take it on a smaller, more detailed brush. And we're just going to kind of tap that on the outer corner. Just plain at this point. I can see how if you took something like gemstone, so you took something like gemstone and you've got it down, you're doing like a smoky eye type of a thing, go into something like pixie dust and it will become so smoky and saturated. So these duochromes, like when you put a darker underneath, it really just elevates the whole feel of them. See? So you do one swatch of that and it's still amazing. Like it's still gorgeous, but I do like that they have those mats in there because that is a huge purpose to have those in a palette like this. I'm so in love with this. <laughs> like it's so ridiculous how in love I am with this. And I think the quality sometimes with indie brands that are not doing so many pans, they're not doing thousands upon thousands upon thousands like all of your mainstream brands. And the formula sometimes is just better. They can take more risks, I think is what it comes down to. You know, when you're doing the thousands upon thousands upon thousands, you need to make sure that it's kind of hitting that retail bar standard. And not to say that indie brand standard is low, it's just there's more flexibility. If something doesn't work out, it's not pulling so many palettes off the shelf all at once. Do you know what I'm saying? I like a little bit of the risk in there involved in doing a more wet formulation shadow that is super duochrome like that. That is amazing. Like, oof, oof, right? That is so nice. Okay, so I need some mascara. I'm gonna do my favorite duo recently, which is the Fit Glow Beauty and the Kajir, Kajir White. That's not how you say it, but the, the, uh -huh. This brand. Kier Weiss. Kier Weiss. So pretty. Okay, and now I like to fluff the lashes up a little bit with this on top. All right, so I am gonna pop on so I want to show you two things, you know, while we're talking about brands that don't get enough play online, I want to mention Girlactic. They have these new gorgeous jello lippies. This is in barely nude. What are you called? Jello gloss balm. This is like the most elevated gloss balm ever. It does have a heavy fragrance. We know how I feel about that, but I'm letting it slide. It smells like grape bubble gum. So I'll show you. It has the most cushy, balmy, shiny situation and they have a bunch of different colors. I really super, super love these. And then I also wanted to show you from Galactic, they have this Glow Prep. It is the That Glow Highlighter. Now what you wanna do with a highlighter like this, I'm gonna show you a trick. You're gonna take it on the back of your hand. I have found that if you dot it on the skin, it is really hard to blend it out, especially if you have other stuff on the skin. So what I like to do is take a brush that is more small in size, not necessarily a fan brush. You wanna get like a small, what kind of looks like a giant eyeshadow brush, like it's fluffy. This is the BK Beauty 113. And what I do is I tap the product into the brush and then you lightly tap it on the skin and you can kind of then take the top part of the brush that doesn't have the product on it and kind of lightly buff it out. This is how you will get a cream highlighter to work for you on top of any of your other makeup because sometimes it feels like if you have powder on and you go in with something like this, you're gonna be making a mess of things, you're gonna be in trouble, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I wanted to show you that and I think this highlight is so stunning, so beautiful, really juices up the skin. I'm so happy to have tried it out and have it work as well as it has. Another thing while we're doing underrated, this is the biggest underrated, like the mistake of my life 
because for some reason I was too good for this product. Like I have to apologize to Peach and Lily. They sent me this product probably twice before. Um, I gave away to my nephew's girlfriend. She's like, oh my gosh, I love glass skin. And I'm like, take it. I love Mac Fix Plus. Mac Fix Plus is the best. And then I don't know what made me just one day decide, you know what? I really want to try this. And I bought this myself. I tried it out and immediately like upon contact, I was like, yo, this might be the best dewy setting mist of all time. So what I do with this is I actually, this is my weird trick, take it or leave it. I will pull my hair back like it's in a ponytail. I will mist the skin and I will either take my blow dryer, my Dyson, or just even fan it off. And if you let the moisture get into those lines, I am telling you it kind of does something to just plump the makeup up and it softens any of your forehead lines. It gives you the most luminous finish to the skin without being greasy. I'm done with Fix Plus. I think this is so much better. I don't detect any fragrance in here. So that's also a win because Fix Plus is literally so good. But you guys know the fragrance thing, especially when I'm like, Ch -ch 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 -ch, is an issue. If you don't have that issue, I will point out that Girlactic has this Hydrate and Set Rose Petal Dewy Face Mist. I was describing the fragrance in here at length when doing the PR unboxing with James. And I'm gonna give this to my sister, Larissa. She loves these kind of situations with a little bit of glimmer in there as well. I think Iconic London has one that she loves so much and this is kind of similar. So that's going to a good home. But if you are sensitive to the noise of fragrance like I am, then the Peach and Lily, Oh my gosh, like prayer answered. It is so, so, so good. I am going to leave with one more shout out. If you are into a gloss that is not overly thick, that has saturation of color and is still shiny, still moisturizing, the Stands Out Beauty New Lippies are so nice. I'll put some swatches in because this has the nicest applicator and just the packaging itself is super cute. I love the diamond on the top and I just love how opaque the gloss is, how thin it is. It's not a liquid lip. It kind of has that feeling, like that thinness of a liquid lip, but it is a gloss. Really long wearing, really beautiful neutral tones. And I've been a fan of, of course, Stands Out for a hot minute. So I thought I would share that with you all. And I think this is where we're gonna land. I hope that you enjoyed going through all of the really never been spoken about loudly online new makeup launches from indie brands, stuff that performs so well. This was fun for me. I really hope it was fun for you to watch. I love to give a ton of attention to products that really deserve it. So none of this is sponsored, but I will list everything below. Go check out Queen Cosmetics. Cosmetics, Girl Lactic, Stands Out Beauty, and give this video a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos. Make sure you are subscribed, ring the bell. I'm here twice a week, Monday and Thursday. Come back soon and hang out. And other than that, go have a good one, whatever you are doing. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.